Okay, welcome back, guys. I'm going to try to record for about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I hated to leave y'all hanging on the, on the little, literally on the edges. I hated to leave you hanging on the very uh, end of my Jasmine Beckett Griffith color book page, The Pirate Girl. We spent a little more time on the hair than I wanted, and I still didn't even finish the hair. Terry says she's staying till her screen goes black. Well, I'm recording, and I and I'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Let me make sure everything is good. Um, yeah, we kind of lost a little bit of our focus going on to this part, but I, there we go. So the last thing we did is um, added these white highlight strip. I mean lines in her hair. And we've been highlight, did the same thing with all of her hair with white, but a few little strands like caught in the wind. So I put Posca pen, I used pos the white Posca pen to pull out a couple of stripes. Let me take a sip of my cold coffee here. And I'm going to go over those with orange. So they're not going to be white highlights, but they're going to be highlights nonetheless. Okay, it's good. they're going to be orange, and they're they're not going to show up a lot. It's just enough to give you a little bit of something blowing in the breeze. So I'm going over that carefully. You can't bear down too much because you'll just pull the paint. You'll pull the Posca right off. You got to be gentle over the Posca paint. But I want just a few little orange hairs kind of flowing off. So there's a difference right there. Can you see? It just looks more real. See how that looks more real? Oh, you're welcome for the bonus time. Um, <clears throat> see how that looks more real than that? By going over the white with the orange. In this case, it's because she's a redhead, but it could be any color. I like to put a, you know, unless she needs white highlights, but, you know, it just looks more real if you go over that with another color with your um, brightest color, in this case is orange. Trying to stay in camera. We're really zoomed in. If you're watching this, um, if you're coming in on the recording and, and uh, <laughs> you miss part one, then you really need to go back and watch part one because this is just the whoop, this is just the finishing touches on her other than the pants, which all right, so I'm going back over all the white, all the white areas of the Posca pen with the orange, and they still stay nice, bright highlights, but it looks a little bit more real that way. Oops, I keep, I'm so zoomed in, guys. My camera, I literally have this big of a camera section because I'm zoomed in 100%. So I got to keep moving it around so that I don't get off camera because we want to see all the details when I'm coloring, right? As much as possible. All right, so I'm just going back over them. And you can do more or less, however many you want, just a few little, you know, have a few little strands coming off your braid there. Now I got to let that dry. Let that dry. The Posca paint pen. Let that dry before you start going over it with, because if I go over it now with the pencil, it's just going to take away the paint, right? All right, so there we go. And I want more shadow. Sharpen my pencil again. I'm going to want more of the uh, dark purple, the dark plum, mulberry rather, the mulberry. I'm going to want more of the little mulberry. Broke again. Okay, one moment in the darkest parts of her braid. <laughs> well, yeah, if she actually had gray streaks in her hair, that would be different. Yeah, but uh, I'm still sharpening. Hang on. Still sharpening, still breaking. Oh, just dropped out. All right, let's sharpen again. <laughs> Gotta love these pr our prismas, right? Okay. Love that hair. It's your favorite so far. Oh, thanks, Suzanne. All right. <sighs> So I'm going to want to get like right in the deepest, darkest areas of the braid later. All right, but I'm, 
I don't want to spend much more time on the hair because I want to get on to the rest of this, you know, I'm going to finish her up here. All right, so, but you kind of get the idea, right? So again, let's see if that's dry enough. I'm going to go back over that with the orange. Where a few little hairs might have come loose from her braid. That's kind of a lot, but uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, so there she is. Again, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work. I wanna do a little bit more work on the, you know, the part of her hair and some more shadows. But because we ran out of time, we literally time ran out on that last stream. And this is, the, this. now we're into the fourth stream of the day which I don't mind, you know, I set aside Mondays for streamage, but I was hoping to get her done in one, one episode, not because of time, but just because I like, I like to have them in one episode if I can, or they may not get finished, they may not get finished, but I like to have the bulk of it done in one episode, and then at least finish up everything, you know, and post the picture, okay, but you kind of see where we're going, right? kind of starting to sh shadow in some of the darker areas of her red hair. And you can always go back in there with more of the crimson red too. So over some of the orange, if you want her to have redder hair than orange, just I'm going to go back in there. I can just add some red to it. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you can. So I'm just going to add a little bit more red, take away a little bit of the orange. But I like, I like hair to be vibrant and lots of shades, you know, if you, if it just looks more, it looks more real to me to have lots of color in your hair. Yes, yes, get to the pants, get to the pants, right. Okay, I'll finish up the hair off camera then. But I think you got the idea, right? Got the idea? All right, so the pants. So again, this is going to be gold. The pants are going to be, I want them to look kind of like um, silk. I'm going to try to do that with pens. I now, I got to say, I usually use pencils to try to get the, the shine of silk. And I showed that in my Doodler's Anonymous coloring book. See how close I am? In, on these pants right here. Let me find them again since we're now into part four. Well, it's really not part four. It's part two. Well, let's just say it's part two of her. <laughs> so, where'd it go? Where are, this, where are the pants? All right, it's in here somewhere. Let me flip again. Ah, here it is. So if you can see how this looks like silk ribbon, love you the way you use many shades in the Ginger Snaps portraits. Oh yeah, yeah, I did um, portraits for uh, Julie. I know her last name's not Topaz. Her grandchildren we call them the Ginger Snaps. They have red hair, and I, that's one thing I try to do is like, especially you know, you don't want it flat. I don't anyway. I don't like flat hair. Okay, so anyway, you see how the light is right there? Now what I can do is if I kind of lose this effect in this tiny little pants, I can go over it with either white paint or the Posca and kind of smear it out. In this case, the, there's no paint there. It's all pencil. But you can see how if you highlight all the way across an area, across, what? Across, across an area, <laughs> uh, it gives it that shine. Here's another good example right there. See how that looks like it's shiny right there on the fold? <laughs> oh my goodness, Flint Rock. Okay, so let's see if we can try to kind of pull that off with her pants here, with pen. 
All right, I'm going to use gel pens instead of pencil. Now, I'm going to put it down with gel pen. I might go over it with some pencil. We'll see how this works. And the reason I'm using gel pens instead of pencil is because this is so tiny. Okay, it's so tiny. I mean, can you see my fingernail there? It, it, we're zoomed in, so it looks big. But wait till I zoom out. You're going to see how tiny this is. So I think what I want to do is let's start with the purple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best. I know I'm gonna, it's going to be dark on this side, right? So I'm going to try to do... Because I want it purple and gold uh, kind of stripe. I want both colors in there. So I'm going to start with putting in the blue, I mean the purple gel pen on where it's going to be the darkest. This hump right here, this area right here is going to be the light area. So I'm going to start with the purple dark area. I'm just going to do one little section at a time. Try to keep my focus with the pattern here. Because there's a lot of patterns going on here. My, okay, I'm still on camera. If you all have any questions, put them in caps. I'm going to try to wrap this up in about 30 minutes. Bye, Sarah! Yeah, I'm, I'm past my, I mean, it's 3 o'clock, or right at 3 o'clock, and I'm usually, I'm usually completely done by 3. So I can go make a big salad before Jean comes on at 4. But I don't know if Jean's coming on at 4. But I'm still not staying until 4. I'm going to finish this up and we're moving on. Moving on, people. <laughs> okay, so I got some of the, the purple there. Now I'm going to want some light purple down the middle and light gold down the middle. All right, so let me go in and do the dark gold or the area. Let me see if this is going to show up. I don't know if the... Oh, that's going to be really bad, guys. I don't think it's going to show up. There's not enough contrast. I see it I see it because of the shine, right? But I think I'm going to have to get a darker purple. Let's see if I have a darker purple gel pen. Okay. Because that's not enough contrast. I mean, I can see you, you can see it, but it's not good enough for me. I need darker purple in there too. So let's try a couple of things here. I'm going to get the darkest part of the gold in this little section, and I can always just put a white stripe down the middle if I have to. I just didn't want to have to do it that way. I want to do it the right way. <laughs> okay. I think I want, let me get a black or a dark purple pen to go along the outside edge here. That's not dark purple in that one. Let's see. Here. I want the outside edge of these pants to show up. Like that's the outer edge of the pants. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to use the pencil to shade, even though it's going to be a little tough. Okay, it's going to be a little tough. Because it's tiny for me, guys. This is very tiny. That's why I went with the gel pen. But it's not showing up very well. Now I'm going to take the white. I could take lavender, probably. Let me test the lavender. Where's my lightest lavender? Let's test lavender on there. That might be too pink. I want to go with, let's see. Pretty much, I think they're the same. Probably be best to go with white, okay? Because it's so little. There's just so little shading space. Let me sharpen my white. Oh, 
it broke. Hang on. <laughs> That's just the way of it, as Barb would say. <sighs> okay. So what I want to do is have... And it's just tricky over the gold. All right, so let me get back in there with the dark. It's just so much easier to blend anything with a pencil than a gel pen for sure. But I'm trying to do that shiny effect. Okay. All right, now let me get in there with, um, instead of gold, let me get like, um, and I don't use gold pens. I mean, uh, I have gold marker, you know, like gold um, pencils, but I just don't like to use them. I'd rather use a color. So let me get my yellow ochre here. Let's see. I just want a golden effect. There we go. So we can use partial pen and partial pencil. And again, it's because the area is so tiny that I'm trying to blend into. Alright, so let's put a highlight on there. Mm, where's my... I don't even know if y'all can see any of this. I mean, I'm zoomed in and it's tiny, right? All right. Need a little darker. Don't want dark purple. I want dark brown. Yeah. All right. So the effect I'm trying to get is shiny, folded, silky, stripe pants. <laughs> That's the effect I'm trying to go for. There. Okay, you can see it. Yay, you can see it. Good. Yeah, it is better with the pencil for sure. Now, if I want to make, I want some, like if I want this a little bright, I'm just going to just do a little bit of Posca down there because it, because I lost my brightest highlight with the marker. Get it going here. And it does, you don't have to use a Posca, you could just use acrylic paint. But I just want a nice shine down the middle. Now, I don't want to leave it like that. Okay, I want to kind of blend that out a little or go, let it, I should probably let it dry and then go in there over the top with a little bit of pencil to kind of, just so it's not a line. I don't want a white line. I want a shine, not a line. <laughs> so I think you can kind of see. Hmm. I'm not really happy with it right here. So I think I'll just, even though it is going to be tricky to get in these tiny little areas with a pencil. Could even go in there technically with a, uh, uh, I could go in there with a little bit of purple marker because that will smear while it's wet. Because I really want that nice shine in there that I'm going to lose if I'm not careful. Right? And the gold doesn't look that gold anyway. But it's a couple shades. It's a couple shades there. 
but I did want to show you all how to how I did that with the silky ribbon but I don't usually use a pen I use pencils looks great learn so much you're welcome Vicki Missouri thanks for being here all right let's hmm see I'm just not liking that shine there because I messed it up with a pen well it's not really messed up I can paint over it but I can paint over anything because I'm trying to highlight a gel pen you can't highlight a gel pen <laughs> just can't do it oh you can't highlight a gel pen okay let's keep moving now these little tiny stripes right there I am I can't get that with well I can thicken them up with pencil but I'm not going to be able to get that thin of a line with the pencil very easily um, so let's see what other things we want to do. Okay, I want two shades of purple. I want the dark purple and the lavender. I want these to be like different purple and golds, right? All right, so let's go to this next section. And this next section has these stripes in it. I must do every other one. Yeah, let's go every other one. So what essentially what I'm doing, I should show you on a piece of separate paper because it's so tiny to see. It's kind of like, all right, let me draw some. Where's a black pen? Okay. All right, so we have this hump like this, right? And then these stripes like this, and it goes down and goes back up. Okay, it goes both ways like that. Okay, well, actually, this would be right there. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is this. Let me do one more because that's not quite enough. So then, just so you can see, you can. Oh, sorry, guys. Keep getting off camera. All right, let me get my pencils. All right, so I'm getting the dark. I'll tap around. Oh, it's time for me to eat. Okay. This is essentially what it is. But on a smaller scale, all right? But I want, to, I want you to see what to do. And you can't hardly really see in that tiny, tiny little area. But this is what we're going to do with all this. Now, this little design here is just a design. And I'm not going to worry about I might put a little bit of shine there. But I'm not going to try to do all this in there. I can barely get in there. That's so tiny. Um, do you have to see? You have to. I know. I, gotta, I have to stick with pencils. I'm just better with pencils. But see that right there? See how tiny that is? There's no way. I mean, I can color in that with pencil, but more than likely what I would do is color the whole thing. You know, like just do the whole thing. And then go in there and shade and shadow and highlight the designs on top, right? Those tiny little swirly designs. That's how I'm going to work this. I'll hide, I'll shade it like this and all, but then I'll go in there with a pen and do all the swirls. The stripes I'm trying to do this on with a couple shades of purples. All right, let's go back to this. This is what I want to show you here.
Okay, and then it gets you start fading it out lighter and lighter and lighter. But I'll tell you, gel pens are awesome for those tiny little details. Like that little skull right there, you know, or these little tiny swirls. You could keep your pencil really sharp and get in there, but it's not going to be crisp. It's just not going to be as crisp with color pencil in those tiny, tiny areas. Okay, so here we go. We're working it up like this. So this is how you make your shiny ribbon. Can you see? And you, just, you really want to take your time and blend this so that you can't see any edges right there. You want to just keep blending, blending, blending. And you want to keep the you want to keep the shine all coming down a center point. If there's if there's a hump like that, see see how the shine's coming right down the middle. Okay. All right. Let's do uh, let's do the uh, uh, gold color. No, no, I want brown. Let's just go. That's purple. Where's brown? Okay. So same thing here. I'm gonna. Sh oh, sorry, guys. I keep getting off camera. Question: What? This is gold coins. That's her gold coins in her pouch. Oh, in here? Oh, that's her pouch? Is that what you're saying, Eileen, right there? A pouch? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, growl like Jean. Shh, don't tell Jean. Oh, is Jean here? No. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, thank Yeah, I, I always thank my mod, Carrie. She's always, she's always a trooper. I don't know what I'm going to do when she moves. She's going to have to get crack a lacking on that internet and get back with this quickly. Quickly. All right. So I'm going to try to make this gold without a gold color. I mean, without, I'm trying to say it's going to be gold. Without a pen is what I should say. So I'm going to start with some brown. That will be the darkest shadow. Okay, I'm just going to start shading up. Can y'all see how it's working? Okay, blend, blend, blend. I'm going to take some yellow ochre, go over that, going over all of that, and almost turns that into a green gold kind of thing. And you do want to take plenty of time to do all this blending much nicer than I'm showing you. I mean, more, take more time. So with just some dark brown, some yellow ochre, and again, you want to blend that. You don't want to see any lines right there, really. You want to really get that blended in, but I'm trying to kind of show you in a hurry. All right, so we got our gold there. Okay, now we'll go in with the white, and now I'm just going to kind of blend across the whole thing there. I did get a little purple right there. That was a that was a boo boo, but I'm going to blend right across the whole thing to blend in that gold. 
Now I'm going to clean the tip off. Keep your tip of your pencil clean. And I'm going to do the same thing. All right, watch. I'm going to go back and forth over the whole thing. Gently, gently. See, remember, I'm trying to do silk ribbon here. Clean off the tip if it starts building up too much because you want to keep a nice white area right there in the middle. But then you can kind of kind of go back and forth and it kind of pulls the color left and right. Okay, I think we got the example done. There's how to do a silk ribbon with gold in it. Without a gold, there's no gold pen. That's just brown. It's dark brown and yellow ochre. And again, you know, you can take more time to really, you know, do the shading more carefully. Okay. Do the shading a little bit more careful. But there's how to do a gold ribbon without gold. Well, a gold stripe. A gold stripe. Okay. Yellow ochre. There's something about the yellow ochre over the dark brown that makes it like green. It's almost like the, you know, a green gold. It turns it almost kind of a green gold. So you just got to keep blending that like that. Okay. I got a little bit of a purple right there. Again, go clean off the, make sure your tip is clean on the white pencil. Okay, let me go back with the purple. That's the brown. That was the purple. <sighs> Broke. One moment, please. We got to sharpen. Okay. Well, I kind of ribbon folds and highlight. You know, when I used to do a lot of calligraphy, it's not going to break again. Oh my God. What was it that girl said in uh, Kroger, that Kroger YouTube? Lord, help me! Lord! Lord! <laughs> that was so funny. I'm glad y'all got to watch that with me. Not on recording, but yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Now we're cooking. Cooking with Prismas. Blend out the white. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. And the dark, dark purple. Where's my dark, dark purple? I know it's right here. But you just take, take, oh, I'm sorry I keep getting off camera, guys. The camera is like way away from me. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I need food. I need food. Okay. All right. There we go. Does that help? Yeah. What fresh? <laughs> yeah. What fresh? I can't do it now because it's, it's, I'm laughing, Carrie. But yeah, when she said, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> anyway, guys, there's how you do a satin ribbon, a gold ribbon. Well, gold in the ribbon with only dark brown, yellow ochre, and white, okay? And then this is uh, dark purple, lavender, and white. And that's what we're going for here. All right, so I'm going to back out now. We're going to back out. So you can see how... All right, let me refocus, autofocus. Where's my card? Where is my... All right, let's focus again, guys. Okay. I'm fading. I need subs sustenance. Maybe some substance, too. <laughs> so you can see how little that area is that I'm trying to do that on, right? <laughs> 
So I'm trying to do this on there. But I think she turned out pretty good. So I'll finish her up if I, while I'm watching Jean, probably after I eat. And uh, so I hope y'all got an extra little 30 minute bonus here with our, and she's got freckles. She's got her corset, her leather corset, her leather belt, and she will have on silk pants. <laughs> they will be silky and shiny. And then I also want to do something over here in the sand. I'm not sure what I want to do in the sand. But we added our own clouds and our own rain. So all that was done in part one. So I'll finish her up and I will tweet a picture of her, you know, later after, after I finish. So. <sighs> so any questions? Thanks, guys. Thanks, Carrie, for hanging out. And Eileen, too, if she's awake. I think Jean's, Jean's out. If she, I mean, if she came in, and she's probably sleeping now because she went on that. She went to her, um, uh, not graduate, it was a graduation, so I don't even know if she slipped in and out or not. But, Carrie, did you hear if she's streaming at four, or is she back yet, or do you know? So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, there's how to do a satin silky ribbon. Oh, thanks, Mel G. A brown bottle. Okay, you don't think it should be black? Like dark gray? I think it should be dark gray. <gasps> no, it needs to be green. Wait, one moment, please. It's got poison on it. We're going to do that green. Hang on. We're going to whip this bottle out. <laughs> Terry, get another dark green. Green like her eyes, see? That's blue. Where's my dark gray? We're going to have the bottle match her eyes. What kind of mischief has she gotten into? Where's my dark green? Here we go. We're going to do it the same way as her eyes. What do you think about that, girls? Okay, I'll hold it up to the camera. Hang on. It's a little bit more dark green. Yeah, that's what it needs. And then the little skull and crossbones on there. I want to make sure they show up. Let's put a little highlight on that bottle. And maybe make the crossbones a little more obvious. She's your long lost sister. <laughs> oh my goodness, Terry. Terry, do you have red hair? Are you a ginger, Terry? Why do I think you might be? Because you're trouble. You're trouble, Terry. <laughs> I don't want to lose a little crossbone there. Did she say she had Molly? Molly Troublemaker Morgan. Molly the Troublemaker Morgan. <laughs> you like the octopus tattoo? Yeah, she's got that there. Then she's got her other one over there. The little uh, anchor there. And the anchor has a little, it's a little bit of um, rope comes down there. So we just got to finish her pants. And a little bit of hair and a little bit of sand. But it's hard, guys. It is hard to finish a color book page in three hours. I'm telling you. You try it sometime. You try to figure You try to finish one of these pages in three hours. You get back with me. <laughs> uh, 
guys. And you're trouble with brunette and gray hair. Okay. So anyway, guys, I'll post a picture of her later when I finish it. Thanks, everybody, for being here. It's a mess. It's a mess in here now. i got to eat and clean. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Carrie, did you say whether Jean is around or streaming today? I need to go make that salad if she is so I can get back here and, and watch her. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, here's our evidence of pro productivity today. This is our productivity evidence. Two sharpeners and a full, full little bowl of shavings. You can finish in 20 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne. She's going to try and stay awake to stream. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go make my big salad, and I'll see you at Jean's. And thanks, everybody, for being here. So let me review real quick. We've got three done. We could, almost. She's almost done. Then we have, we have her. And we have our mermaid with the glitter and the braided hair. So her, her, and now her. Okay, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye.